Now I have a couple of books that I reviewed before in the, uh, that I think, I can't remember if these are in the member section or not, um, but these are uh, some books on public relations and the public relations industry. This is Toxic Sludge is Good For You and Trust Us, We're Experts by uh, Sheldon Ramp Rampton and John Stauber. And these guys, although well-intentioned, um, th these, are, these are dangerous books that I, I would avoid at all costs. And I hope these authors, I would guess by their political bent, that they have probably since discovered the error of their ways. But uh, if they were to reprint this, um, chapter eight should be completely excised. I mean, really the whole book has no business being available. But chapter eight is the best science money can buy. And right there, that plays into a conspiratorial kind of thinking. Um, this is, he, he quotes at the beginning of this, Robert Proctor from Cancer Wars, which I don't even want to touch on that. I, that's, science has a face, a house, and a price. It is important to ask who is doing science, in what institutional context, and at what cost. Understanding such things can give us insight into scient why scientific tools are sharp for certain times of problems and dull for others. And that is a slippery slope to be sure, because that entire chapter really is nothing but skepticism aimed at institutional authority of the scientific community. And if we learned anything in the last four years, it's that there's times where some of the scientists need to shut up and let the other scientists talk. And uh, this book and this book, both of these are highly dangerous because they get into things about PR firms and how they work. And that's not a bad thing. Obviously, public relations firms exist and they're out there. But they give it a conspiratorial bent and left to your own devices, if you were just to read this objectively, and we know how problematic that is, um, you could wind up with an attitude of, you could think that the PR agencies are actually working against the, the best interests of the, uh, of the general public, uh, especially of the general public of this country. Uh, but that's where we have to, again, and I mentioned this in my commentary um, recently about the narrative. Um, that's where we have to ask ourselves, does it support the narrative? And the narrative, I think that's a much more important thing to think about, is when legacy media offers us up a narrative, that is a valuable gift that we've been giving, given, and we should act in support of that. And we should always ask ourselves, when we start cracking open literature like this, does this support the narrative? Is it good for the narrative? Because if it's not, probably best to just put that down. And uh, so these are books that they're inexpensive enough and they're readily available at most, like a lot of used bookstores sometimes will have these like at half price books. I would grab these just to get them off the shelf because one of the really problematic things in, in uh, I believe it's, this is the one that has, has this, is the... Uh, um, the, ex well, chapter 10 is the tortures lobby. I mean, that just, that just sounds bad. There's no way around that. Um, I can't remember which, which one of these books has it. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's this one, which is all about, ha has the section about the uh, incubator babies in Iraq. And that's one of those things people cite a lot about propaganda and that sort of thing, which you, again, backing up to 1990, we needed to hear those stories about incubators being thrown out of babies in order to get the job done. Sometimes it's kind of like telling your kids a white lie to get them to, to do something, to get them moving. And I think lie there is even a strong word because, you know, we have to think about what we need to get done, what needs to get done. And there are people, there are experts that know more than us. And this kind of book chips away at that. It, it really chips away at that pedestal that experts are rightly standing on. 
So be very careful about these. If you see these, I would grab them just to get them off the street because uh, you, the discerning audience, can appreciate that and the danger of these. This is like equivalent of like finding a loaded gun out on the street. So um, anyway, I hope that you will uh, be careful if you encounter those books. And I'm, I'm really sure that these guys uh, got their minds right and would never make this mistake again. And if they did republish those books, I'm sure they would be less several different chapters in there. So, because yeah, like lies, damn lies, and the public relations industry, I mean, right there, it uh, sets the tone in a very conspiratorial tone, I might add. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you feel led to do so, I have set up the membership option on my channel. I have three levels of complicity, as someone pointed out. You can join for $4.99 as an enabler, $9.99 as an accessory, or $24.99 as an accomplice. So thanks again for watching. And if you feel led to donate, great. If not, uh, that's cool too, but being a member does afford you access to, I think, an additional 200 or so videos uh, in the member section, maybe even more than that. So anyway, thanks for watching.